Hey y'all, it's Natalie Michelle with Pretty Big Faith. Thank you so much for joining me. Lean in. I got a question I need your help with. All right, number one, where is my man? What is he doing and why has he not found me yet? Okay, because I'm right here. All right, now that I've got your attention, let's get real. I did a video where I, you know, told you, can you handle my truth? And then I was thinking about it and I was like, mm, Nat, you didn't really give the people any truth to really deal with or handle. And so we're going to take it a little deeper and talk about dating and relationships. And sometimes when I'm on social media and I'm scrolling through and looking at my friend's post and I'm hitting that like and that love button, the, the new weddings and the engagements and the babies and we bought our first house and we're, you know, we're taking our vacation and hashtag current situation, they're on the beach, whatever. I am so excited and so happy for them. But let's be real, there are times where I just don't want to see that no more. Like I need a break, I just need a pause. Every once in a while you have to be real with yourself and be sensitive to where you are in the space that you are in time. Right? Sometimes you can't feed yourself all of those things, especially if that's something that you are wanting or struggling with or waiting for. And I just have to be real. All the time I get questions like, Natalie, how are you still single? Natalie, I'm surprised anybody snatched you up yet. I'm surprised too. And I have some of my girlfriends, we'll talk about it and we'll just kind of look at each other and like, I mean, did it just skip us? What's happening? this is it that you know they deserve it more or I'm not doing something right or have I not positioned myself to get my Boaz and all that no no it's none of that it's not that at all it's not that at all okay what it is is that there is a purpose and a time for everything that you're facing in your life and you know there's a season and seasons change and so for example maybe you were like me and you had it all you had that marriage you had you know the beautiful fairy tale and it was amazing and awesome but you lost it somehow so for me my husband passed away made me a widow after 16 months of marriage not the story not the life that i signed up for or maybe you never had it and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting you're like well, okay what is it like is there something wrong with me or maybe you thought you were on your way to having it and then psych something happened uh, infidelity you guys changed your mind and you grew apart and now here you are with the broken pieces of what could have been so what gives if god wanted you to have your mate right this second snap your finger he'd be there snap your finger he'd be right here on this couch with me right <laughs> but he's not here there's nobody here <laughs> but my dog and the lord and that's okay so the task is to kind of step back and give yourself an outside perspective. Okay, instead of me looking at singleness as a punishment or as something that's wrong with me or as something that needs to be fixed, how can I look at this as something that can elevate me, promote me, and take me to the next level in my life and in my purpose? You're not in competition with anybody. You don't need to look at it as if you're missing out, right? Because I have some of my married friends who are like, man, I remember those good old days where I could just pick up and go and do what I want. And then I have single friends are like, oh, I one day I can't wait just to come home to somebody and just be held and all those great things. Yeah, but sometimes you just want your space too. So having had both lives really, um, being married and single now, I can see the, the pros and the cons of both, right? So just really learning how to thrive in the season that you're in and fall in love with the season that you're in. So spend time, discover who you are, discover the platform that you've been given as a result of this time in your life. There is some problem, there is some issue that you alone were created to solve. Start figuring out how to do that. How can you put your unique gifts and your talents to use for that? You might be telling me now, I got all that. I did that. I do my yoga. I eat right. I know my purpose. I run a nonprofit. I'm successful. I do all these great things. And that's awesome. So then it's not so much a matter of what you can do to make it happen, right? It's just being patient because there's always something. I think if you um, put your put your eyes on it so much and just kind of obsess about it, it's, it's really like you're trying to fill a void. So ask yourself, okay, what is it? that I'm not content with right now that I feel like a relationship or a man has to be able to make me feel better all of a sudden. Get your house right. And then having done all to do, stand. Just say, God, you know what? I present my life to you. I know that your timing is perfect and you know exactly what I need and who I need to do it with. So in the meantime, I'm going to choose joy. I'm going to choose to live my best life. And you know, my hashtag current situation is going to be good no matter what I see or don't see. So definitely, um, you know, just be real with yourself. Thank you so much for um, handling my truth, I should say. And, you know, really spend time on you. 
know your purpose, figure out what it is that you are here for. And that way, when somebody does come along, perfectly, they also know their purpose. And then you guys can talk life together. But if he doesn't know where he's going or what he's created for and you don't know either, what are y'all going to do? Make a big mess. So be intentional. Be intentional with yourself, with your relationships, and also in your singleness, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. Definitely let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, like, share, and we'll talk soon. All right? Next time. Bye, y'all.